Hey Angelo everyone, this is just a quick update on the Envy heater after using it a full winter last winter. Just started using it again, it's November now 2023, but I did use this heater all last season, all winter long. And I wanted to give you a little update what I think of it now. First of all, I'll let you know that the Heater is almost silent. You hear a little click when it turns on and a little click when it turns off and that's it. There's no fans and there's no other noise. If you hear a fan right now, that is because I have a air cleaner I run in this room. That is a HEPA air cleaner. And I kind of have it set, if you can kind of see here, kind of close to the heater, not next to it, but kind of close. There's, there is room between it there. And that kind of just circulates air up as the heat comes out, kind of blows it around. I don't know if that really helps anything or not, but um, that's the way I have it set up in here. So the application I use this heater in is a 10 by 10 room. So you're talking about 100 square feet, pretty well insulated. I do have three windows in this room, two big ones here. And it is a bright sunny day. And even though I have to put that blanket there, because when I work on my computer, that sun belt blinds me. That's why the blanket's up there. But still, a lot of heat is coming in. This is south-facing. So even in the winter, when the sun's out, this room gets really pretty warm. But on cold winter nights, this Envy heater kept this room at 72 degrees. You set it by a thermostat. It's not a digital thermostat or anything. I'll try to get in here close. If you see that, that's the lowest setting almost. I'm on number one out of all this. That would be the highest setting. I have it at almost the lowest setting that you can put it on. And it still keeps the room 72 degrees regardless what the outdoor temperature is. Uh, it is on now. You can see the LED light is on, but I will tell you there is absolutely no heat. This is completely cool. There is no heat coming out of the unit. The reason being it's daytime, the sun is out, and I even have a thermometer in here to show you. That's why it's not coming on. It's 74.8 degrees. That's that reading there. That's the indoor temperature. I don't have the outdoor part of this hooked up. I just take the indoor temperature on this thermometer. Uh, that's the humidity, 49%. So it's very toasty in here, and that's why the MB heater is not running right now because it's above that 72 degrees. I figured out where to set it to keep the room at 72. Valve cost to run this heater I knew it wasn't going to be extremely high since this is a low wattage heater. It's 500 watts. But I saw Envy's claim is that it could be as low as four cents an hour to operate. Uh, while doing math, I was going, well, uh, 500 watts is a half a kilowatt. Electric rates have went up substantially. But I moved in this house about 10 years ago. It was under 10 cents a kilowatt. It is now 13 and a half cents a kilowatt. Well, if you take 13 and a half cents and divide it by two, being a 500 watt heater, that would be a lot more than four cents. We would be looking at about six or seven cents. But actually, I found the four cents or even a little less than that is true because the heater cycles on and off even when it's really cold out. This heater will run probably less than 50% of the time. So in reality, it's only using about 250 watts per hour or one quarter of a kilowatt per hour, which is right around the four cents. And it's just incredible that you can heat a room for that low of cost. So I am quite satisfied with the MB heater I got it because this is my cat room. My cat sleeps in here at night, likes to sleep in his own room with the door closed. And I had no other heat source in here. And I did want something safe. And that's why I chose the MB. It hangs on the wall. If this would be knocked off the wall, it has a feature. It will completely shut it off. You don't have to worry about 
uh, it tipping over. You don't have to worry about a cat getting up here and get burned. Even when this is on, this does not get too hot to burn you. It's completely cool again now because it's not running. Uh, but I think it was a great choice. So if you have a small room, you have to use it in the right application. It has to be a room less than 150 square feet. So a 10 by 10 room like this, a 10 by 12 room, which would be 120 square foot, okay. A 10 by 15 room, 150 square feet, would be stretching the limit of the heater. And that would be with the door closed in a well-insulated room. And I think you would be completely satisfied. So I did do another video when I first got this heater, if you want to watch that. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update to let you know that I am very satisfied with this heater and have found that this heater runs 24 seven. I just leave it on all winter long now. I don't turn it off in the day because if it's above 72, it's not gonna run anyhow. That the heater costs less than a dollar a day to run. So it's quite economical. So very satisfied with it. This is Miami CO Indiana. Just wanted to give you that quick update on what I thought about the MV heater after using it an entire winter season. Till next time, I hope you have a great day. So long.